Uh, ooh, let's, let's, what's going on with this fresh and fit stuff? Let me pull up the. Daryl, drop it on us. <laughs> oh, fuck it, though. I'm not playing. Uh, fresh, right? I'm going to call him Fresh because I don't know his name. Okay. Uh, I know Myron, the other one. The Myron is the uh, ex. I forgot what federal agency he was working for, but anyway. Uh, Fresh pretty much had a Chinese escort as a girlfriend. Mm-hmm. And he was hiding it from the world, like Drake was hiding uh, <laughs> Adonis. And uh, things got hot. She got pregnant. And he ghosted her. And then she started revealing things on the internet. And of course, it got everyone's attention. And then he tried to deny it. And then the text came out when he was like for, trying to force her to get an abortion type shit. Yeah. And then the deny came. He was denying like, yo, I don't even know this girl. And then she posted a picture with his fucking mom at the Van Cliff store signing, <laughs> buying $20,000 in jewelry. So God. it's like, damn, bro. So um, you gotta realize there's also like a little power in it because like she's foreign. Yep. So Myron threatened to get her deported through his government connections. That's kind of crazy. That is wild. Like actually wild. He was screaming, like crying, supporting his partner, trying to get rid of a child. Him, 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 and Myron need to get together in a relationship the way he was acting. Yeah, bro, they was crying about that shit. I'm gonna be honest with you. They're the type of people. If something happened to them. Wouldn't be upset. They they bring they name they bring no positivity to society. Oh damn, her IG is disactive too. Or just yeah, she probably getting hella hate comments and hella hate. Yeah, because they got a legion of basement warriors Facts. that follow every single thing they do and say. I call them. I call them. I call them low wife and sales. <laughs> <laughs> my my step, okay, I'm be honest. My step brother watches them and. He just lost his virginity, so I don't know. Uh, he might stop. Oh my god, dude. Okay, so um, so he just doesn't want kids now. That's his gripe with it. Now nah, he embarrassed because the internet exposed the girl as an escort. Yeah, so basically okay. the escort pregnant and being he wanted to be with her. Yeah, he wanted to be like in a relationship, like they gotcha. in a relationship. Then she would say that, like, oh yeah, like. I can come in you and you know they're rich, like they're older or whatever or like around settling down age they got money so she just assumed and like people don't realize that like China's very like a conservative country so they don't really be on that like holding around like they might hold around but like it's really look, it's frowned upon to be like how these people are yeah. um and basically she got pregnant up here allegedly because you know I'll say allegedly because there's no DNA test out yet that it's his whatever right. and basically the nigga went ghost like he was like oh it's not mine oh well <laughs> but like she said he made, they, they made it's known that it was like an exclusive relationship in the text is like it's an exclusive relationship but he was telling people like on the podcast like uh, yeah it was exclusive for her and she would be with just me but I, I was still doing my thing huh Mm. Yes, he definitely did this. So just, I, I don't like fresh and fit. I really don't. I, really I don't, don't know anyone who does. I, my little brother might. I don't know. But Your little brother watches him. He, they, he might. I don't know. He kind of incelish. Oh fuck your dumb bro. Well, what's your thoughts on fresh and fit just in general too? I don't. I don't watch them. I've seen clips of them. Well, it's been a while. I used to see clips of them when they were like a lot more like 2020, 2021. Yeah. Like when they first started like catching ground, but I, I don't, I, for some reason I thought they broke up or they got like kicked off. Yeah. Right. I think think they they got banned from YouTube. That's what it was. That's what it was. Okay. So maybe that's why. Yeah. Cause they were saying some crazy, some crazy, some crazy ish. Yeah, so I never was one to actually watch them like that. I would see clips here and there, but it was I I never actually sat down and watched a full episode or anything like that. So yeah, like I don't not my I think also, also like you're not even like you married kids, like you kinda 
You doing to them? You, they would call you a lame ass nigga. A beta. Yeah. I'm beta males. I'm here to report. What's up? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> doesn't hurt me one bit. So I'm. I think <laughs> I think the appeal to people who like hate women and objectify women. Possibly gay. That's probably possibly yeah. undercover gay for sure. On the DL, on the DL. Yeah, I don't know, bro. How could the love of my life had a penis? And they're like fixated on one type of woman, and women are not a, a monolith. They're fixated on the IG hoes, and if you well, base it, just, if you base, yeah, they're like, they're like, they're like IG based on that. Because he's like, he was basically like, oh, like she's one of my money. I'm like, yeah, she's a freaking Instagram. Like, no shade to this girl. She's because she, she basically said that like she wants a guy make a certain type of money. I'm like, yeah, well, you went after IG thoughts in Miami. Like, what would you expect? Yeah, what, do you, hey, what do you think is gonna happen? Yeah, no, not yeah. looking for your looks, man. <laughs> I, 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 IG thoughts ain't normal. That's not like the normal girl. No, and it's such a small percentage. They act, niggas act like five out of ten girls are like super duper hoes. Like, bro, no. They are. I'm calling <laughs> <laughs> it. It might be like one or two out of every ten. But yeah, like most people are pretty normal. They're trying to settle down. They just want most, most, most. It's just the internet I think got people. Met the, most girls that are normal in the head don't want you, won't leave you because. You don't make enough money as long as you, I think you are doing trying to actively do something and, and provide a little bit. They will, mm-hmm. Most women will work with you, especially if you are a good dude. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't see the. Uh... I would say like six, probably. I would probably often say six or seven out of ten women are probably like that. Um, I think Insta, I think Instagram has and the internet has people like fucked up. To be honest. Yeah, I. I still think I know based on what their clips used to be and them sitting around all the girls around the table, it just seemed like a very niche, like Yeah, all of them, no no shit no shit to those girls, all of them would be like brain dead. They they keep like, see, these girls are stupid. Yeah, they would be like, basically. Oh, yeah, they like, like bring me a woman with a like master degree. Bring me like it was I saw a like, clip of one or two that was like smart and they had an answer. Yeah, and then they, but the thing is they would kick them out. Basically, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. So, like, my thing is, like, bring a even though she's a coon, bring Candace Owens on that joint. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can't do that to her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's true. You couldn't do that to her. True. Some of these girls, I even question if they even could finish high school without probably flirting, sucking it, sucking and sucking and humping for the uh, to get the high school degree. The path. Yeah. yeah. And there's dudes like that too, so I'm not just gonna do that just because they're women. It's just like they are they weren't intelligent people or they were just young. Young and stupid. Yeah. Um Yeah, I don't yeah, whatever, like I don't know, bro. I think he's foul. I think you should just love that girl, bro. Who cares? Yeah, or or like if you don't wanna let a girl also I don't like Mr. Walter. His real name is Walter. Mr. Walter, because he be on the podcast bringing nothing. Just be like Fred Myron screaming like this. Dude, like, oh, yo, 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 yo. Yeah, you girls are pros. It'd be Myron like with takes. He just be on there like stroking him. Legs up. It's a lot of glaze. Legs, legs up, missionary. Like, yeah, Myron, talk to me. A lot of glaze. It's a lot of glaze. Oh, talk that man. talk, daddy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it all and write it back. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, right. Women daddy. are bad. Oh, dude. So, yeah. I, I could take Andrew Tate over these two. That's at funny. least he be having some points at times. He should be at least more sophisticated. Myron shit is just is he is ghetto. Bad. Yeah, if he's stupid, it sounds smart, but that shit don't move me. But it's okay, my room say he get more he get more hoes than us, so I mean but does that and I was telling that somebody watches him, I was like, does that really even matter in the day? Cause like you gonna you we gonna get old one day and that shit is not gonna be cool. You're gonna be an old creep like I'm not saying you gotta even get married. That's not what I'm saying. Like 
marrying for everybody. That's not what I'm saying. Like you, that just def- defines if you had a good life or successful, whatever, whatever. But if you're basing your whole young, because they're still young, like mid thirties. Yeah, you're like, basing your your life on those. Oh, it's just like nigga, you, your shit going you know, your shit gonna, might stop working one day. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. It, there was no might. That shit will... Well, some people, some people can go and they eat healthy. Some people do last until their late eighties. Some people, if they're not as healthy, seventies and sixties. I'm just saying it's yeah, gonna but stop. But at like, some point, we already know biologically speaking. At some point, because I mean, technically, women women can keep going until they until death. Yeah, the, co- the coochie still it. work. Yeah. <laughs> That's that Chris. Chris. That's Chris. Chris. Welcome back. Nah, yeah, uh, exactly. <laughs> This shit's stupid, bro. Just still love that girl, bro. Love that girl. Bring her family over from China. Help them get out of there. <laughs> I know they're not living good. Yeah. <laughs> like, Dang, come on, bro. Do the right thing. I don't know about the family. I don't know about the family. I don't know if I can take care of her. Yeah, she look good too. She, I don't. I don't know. Bro, she's listen, she's I something. say that. I say that because Will knows why. Will understands why. She's Asian, bro. Asian women bring their fucking family when you marry them. Yep. She ain't look like the smartest cookie in the box, though. I ain't gonna lie. It's it's the family, bro. They gotta come. Yeah, they you come get in. them with the with the with the girl. You get the family. That's just what it is. Uh-uh. That's, why you, that's why. You, that's why you get girls who are who are adopted. You gotta get. Support. You gotta get you gotta get girls who who dads are absent. <laughs> they're the ones oh, that are wow. bringing my family. Wow. Oh wow! They not. Oh snap! No, Daryl, you don't. They not. Jeez, bro. but you know the girls with daddy issues be the craziest ones. Well, oh no, you know what? Oh, no, I already <laughs> talked about it. The the toxic mom is worse. That's right. That's right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. Definitely. But a girl without a father is, oof, God, that's crazy.